Matmata, 29 kilometers away. Hopefully, not 29 kilometers of this. <laughs> oh boy. have nested in the mud walls of these so-called troglodyte homes. Basically what they are are big sunken homes, kind of inverted if you will. They build the houses kind of inside out with the rooms on the outside all facing a courtyard and then underground, which I'm assuming uh, helps with the cooling out here in the desert. This important set piece being such a historical kind of holy grail for Star Wars fans, there are many people throughout the world that do come here sort of as a pilgrimage to visit this location. And inside the set dressing door here they've written their names. There's people from London, from Belgium, from Italy, from India, from Japan, the United States, France, everywhere. Now, George Lucas and his team were here in 1976 to film the original Star Wars, but then they came back in 2000 to film episode two, Attack of the Clones. And there was a lot of scenes here as well. So what they had to do is go back in and recreate all of these set pieces because they had been taken out since the original 1976 filming. So all these interior door frames, all these little pipes and stuff that go to nowhere, all this stuff had to be rebuilt. And in fact, if we come in here to the Lars dining room, you'll see that even the ceiling had to be repainted uh, painstakingly uh, detail to match the original. 